Hello again. We are continuing on with section 2.4 in our class notebook. Example 3 and 4 and 5 all have different ways of graphing. There's 5. Instead of graphing by plotting points. We're going to learn some different techniques here. The first one uses the y-intercept and the slope. It says graph the equation 6 minus 2x by finding the y-intercept and slope. So what the first one actually uses, it uses y equals mx plus b, or the, how the book likes to state, b plus mx. What is the m? The m is in front of the x, so in this case it's negative 2. And what is the b? The b is the constant, so that would be the 6. What does the m represent? If you remember, it represents the slope. And this one is the y-intercept. So to graph this, we do have to make our own grid here. Um, but um, on the exam, I would supply the grid or you could use graph paper. But it's not so bad because we're not actually plotting points. We're just going to plot the y-intercept. So we know the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So in this case, it crosses the y-axis. Just mark 6 here, right at 6. Where does it, what, um, what is the slope? The slope is the rise over 1 run. So I'm going to change this to negative 2 over 1, rise over run. I had a hard time saying that. So this is how much it rises, if you remember, over how much you run, or what the book likes to say, the change in y over the change in x. So from this point, we know to get from one point to another, we need to go down 2 and over 1. You can make this 1. So we know we're going to go, we, from, again, from this point, I went down 2 and over 1. Got another point. We could even do it again, down 2 and over 1. Kind of gives you the idea of what the line is going to be, a rough sketch without the grid. Now, you could do it the old way or by making a table. If we did make a table, we could pick a couple of points like 0, maybe 1, just to check it. At 0, we know we have 6. At 1, if you plug in a 1 here, you have 4. And you realize 0, 6, 1, 4 are the two points on the line. So um, that um, fit that is equation. So this is a good check. You can also just do it this way. Nobody's going to make you do it that way. But this is just a more fancy way of graphing without plotting any points, almost visually. If you remember this, it um, looks like a, the other formula that we had. It's our point-slope formula. So this one uses the y equals, I'm going to call it y1. But if you remember what the book likes to call it is y0, either one. Okay, so this tells us that the slope is still negative 2. But the point, what's the point? The point, notice the minus sign is already there, so there's a point, the x1 comma y1. A point is 1 comma 4. How am I getting that? The minus sign is already there, so the, the x1 must be the 1. That's a visual there. And the y1 must be the 4. The negative is coming from the slope. So this is a slope, and this is just a point. So how do we graph that? I think it's going to be the same thing, because notice the point is 1, 4. It's 
from that point, doesn't have to be from the y-intercept, from any point, you can go, again, this would be negative 2 over 1, the change in y over the change of x. So from that point, we can go down 2 over 1. Notice how it's the same. If I plug in 0 here, oh, 0 here, oh, I see. I get 4 plus 2. If I plug in 1, I get 4. So yeah, it's the same equation as above. They look the same. To check that, let's do a check for that one. Um, let's just make sure it's the same. If I multiply this out, I do indeed get 6. It is the same as above. Let's try this one. Now, this one is not visual. The slope is not visual. The y-intercept is not visual. Whenever that happens, um, by the way, we're going to look at, uh, see this form in the next section. It's called standard form. Uh, this one is called point slope form. Uh, this one is called y, right? slope intercept form this one there's really no form for it so they call it standard form because the x's and the y's are one side and the constants on the other but anyway regardless of that we'll talk about that in the next section it says if we're going to find the x and the y intercepts to graph this one because the slope is not visual the y intercepts not visual so instead of um uh, using the, the, the slope and the y-intercept or the slope and a point, we're just going to find the intercepts. So let's go ahead and find the, what would this be? This would be the y-intercept. Why is it the y-intercept? The y-intercept is when x is 0, if you remember. So if I plug in 0 for x, I'll just, I guess I'll do it over here, for x plus 2y equals 12. If I plug in 0 for the x, you would get, whoops, that's the answer. You would divide both sides by 2, and you would get 6. What happens, that's the That's the y-intercept. How would you find the x-intercept? To find the x-intercept, what you do is you plug in y as 0. So let me go ahead and do that over here. Plugging in y is 0. This whole thing goes away. 0 times anything is 0. So you end up with 3. And then you can just graph those two intercepts. Let's do it over here on this graph since I ran out of room, maybe in a different color, because I think they're going to be the same. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. That would be that point. The x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis. That would be that point. And you can see it's the same line. Huh, we should test that. Let's check that. Let's do a check here. To see it's the same line as the one above, let's solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides and get 2y is equal to um, 12 minus 4x. Divide everything by 2. So I'm running out of room. What do I get is y is equal to 6 minus 2x, the same answer. So you can see here that the line can be the same, the same equation, depending on how it's written, can be graphed three different ways. One, by using the y equals mx plus b, the slope y-intercept. One, by using the slope point formula. And one by just finding the intercepts. That's a good method if it, nothing is visual. 
Example six is um, uh, on its own. Uh, we've done this before though. This is asking us to find the equation of the dotted line shown. Um, why don't you pause it since we've done this before. And, um, but before we do, let's see, this is the point one comma 44, it looks like. You can use that point. And this point right here is the point maybe five comma 20. So can you find the equation given those two points? How'd you do? What would we do? Well, I would find, I would use, we don't have the y-intercept, so I would use that second formula, this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Y, y equals y1. What do we need? We need the slope. What is the slope? I guess I'll do the slope over here. What is the slope? The slope is the change in y over the change of x. I'll call this my first point, x1, y1. I'll call this my second point, x2, y2. So it'd be y2 or y2 minus, we could have done that. So it would be 20 minus 44. And then it would be 5 minus 1. So it looks like it would be negative 24 over 4, which is negative 6. So now I can go ahead and use my point. I'll use this point, 44. My m I found was negative 6. Oh, we just could put minus 6. We'd rather. And the x is 1. So it looks like it's going to be y equals 44 minus 6x plus 6. Or, I'm really running out of room, 50. Right, 6 plus 44 is 50. That would be the answer.